Hi, I'm Mr. Simons, and in this video, we're going to talk about the different legal classifications that can be used to set up a business. We're talking about the Australian context, but there's probably links to wherever you're studying things about commerce or business. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at four different legal structures, and we'll go into a little bit of detail about each, including their similarities, differences, advantages, disadvantages, all those sorts of things that the sources for all the information I use that'll be in the description box below. Okay, so let's start with this graphic. I think this is super useful in just having a big overview about what we're gonna go through. So you can see there's the sole trader and the partnership and they're on this unincorporated side. Then you've got the public and private company. They're on this incorporated side. When we talk about an unincorporated entity, it sounds confusing, but the best way to understand it is that an unincorporated entity means the owner and the business are the same thing. That the owner's assets are the business's assets, the business assets are the owner's assets and all those sorts of things. That the owner and the business are the same legal entity. So basically if the business collapses or no, the owner's assets could be um, taken to pay for the debts of the business. If we think about an incorporated entity, this means that the owner and the business are separate. So basically you've got the owner and their assets on one side, and then you've got the company and the company's assets on another. So if the company collapses, well, the owner might lose the money they put in, but they keep their personal assets. Okay, let's start with the sole trader. So with a sole trader structure, we have one person owning and running the show. Now a sole trader can have employees, but the ownership and the risk comes down to them alone. So the advantage is it's very simple and relatively cheap to set up a sole trader structure. You are making all decisions and guess what? You get to keep all the profits. So there are lots of pros here. In terms of negatives, that you have unlimited liability. If the business fails as a sole trader, you are personally liable for the debts of the business. So the people you owe money to could come after your house your cars, your sneakers, all the things that are valuable to you. The other thing is that as a sole trader, it can be hard to find extra finance and to grow, that often sole traders are so involved with the day-to-day -day of the business that they don't have the time to think strategically or bigger picture and really try and grow the business. Anyway, typical businesses for a sole trader, you can think of tradies like plumber, carpenter, uh, maybe a gardener, maybe even a hairdresser just operating on their own. If we go to the next structure, we have a partnership. Now, a partnership is still an unincorporated entity. So owners still here have unlimited liability. But in a partnership structure, you have many owners, not just one. Depending on the profession, the industry, the occupation, you might have different numbers of partners. But basically you are sharing the risk and also sharing the profits by having a number of different owners in the business. So it can be quite a good thing so that you as an individual are not there being personally responsible for everything. You are actually sharing that with other people. But at the same time, you still have unlimited liability. In a partnership structure, the partners, the owners, have unlimited liability. So that means that if the business fails, creditors, suppliers, people who the business owes money to can come after the individual assets of the owner. A partnership may be able to more easily get finance and grow than a sole trader because you have more owners involved who can put in more money into the business and potentially attract finance from others. So let's move to the incorporated, the company side of things. So the main advantage with a company structure is that finally we separate the owner and the business. So we have the company over here where the business sits and then you have the owner over here where they have their own assets. So if the company collapses, well, okay, so the business, all those assets are gone. The owner's initial investment, that's gone, but the owner keeps their own individual assets. Because it is set up in this formal structure, it can be easier to secure finance to grow. 
that maybe banks are more willing to lend money to very um, established and organized companies. But it can be a challenge in terms of running the show because a company structure can be very complicated and expensive to maintain. Because particularly if you are a public company, that you have to do things like publish your annual financial results. So anybody can take a look at those and see what you're doing. So it's very hard to remain that kind of privately run operation when you become a large company. Something that I forgot about, which would be very useful to think about with the partnership, is that it's very easy to make decisions as a sole trader, because, well, it's you. As a partnership, you have to make decisions with the rest of the owners. So it can be hard to get consensus. It can be hard to get your way on everything. So you may need to compromise and negotiate in that structure. So hopefully this was useful in looking at the different legal frameworks that you can use when setting up a business, that we've got that split between the unincorporated and the incorporated, and we're looking at that sole trader and the partnership where you have unlimited liability, and that company structure where you start to have a separation between the owner and the business, and limited liability. Now that's not saying that a company structure is better than a sole trader or a partnership and that everybody should be a company. Companies are expensive and complex to run. That it may be for the particular occupation and the job that you do that another structure is more suitable. If you've got any questions or comments, well, put them in the comments. And as always, thank you very much for watching.